So a common problem I always hear from police officers who are already in business and looking to scale the business is that they haven't got the time to do the things they want to do in order to get to the next level of the business. They have kids, they have the job, and now a customer base that demands their time. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you one simple tip to regain back your time. And this one quick tip comes down to one simple word, delegation. Great things in business are not done by one person. They're not done by the founder, the managing director, or the CEO. They're done by an entire team of people. And in order for you to grow your business, then you're gonna to have to understand the power of delegation. Now, a common problem, again, I always hear, is that they haven't got the resources in money to actually grow their business but yet police officers who are in business focus their time on admin tasks instead of revenue generating activities. Right now in this time in history it is the best time to be an entrepreneur or a business owner because we have the internet. The barriers that were once there have now been eliminated, meaning you can communicate with people who you can actually delegate things to at a much more cost effective price. There are great freelance websites such as upwork.com, fiverr.com, peopleperhour.com, and freelancer.co.uk. And on these sites, you can find just about anyone to help you grow your business, whether that is a graphic designer, a virtual assistant, an executive assistant. It could be people to manage your social media, write your emails, or even create your videos to help you reach more people. Whatever it is, Find the tasks you don't want to do in business, the tasks that are really tedious to you and actually distract you from the tasks that are going to grow your business to get you out of the police service or to grow your business if you're already beyond the police service. And the best thing about this, they do not have to be on your payroll. These people are typically freelancers that you pay by the hour or in block bookings. And because of this, you can manage your costs much more effectively. So I'd encourage you, write down all the tasks that you really know you should be delegating, find people, find freelancers who can help you with these tasks and let them get on with it. And what you'll find is that actually they can do the task much more better than you and also a lot faster than you. Now, if you're worried about training these people, you can use a software which is a, a Chrome, a Google Chrome extension called Loom. That's Lima Oscar Oscar Mike. And basically, it's a screen recording software and you can download that video, upload it to Google Drive or Dropbox and actually you'll be creating a digital asset for your business which creates scalability. So if that freelancer isn't a right fit for your business or they're not performing the way you should, at least you have a digital asset so you don't need to trade your time training the new person that comes into your business. So I'd really encourage you from the income you generate from your business to reinvest that back into people that's allowing you to scale and gain back your time. So you can use that time to then produce more income, enabling you to grow your business and hopefully live life on your terms beyond the police service with more income, time and passion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you on the next one.